I'm going to show you the best ways to get from level 1 to 99 herb lore as fast as possible. And I'm also going to include some alternatives that you can level herb lore while making profit and saving GP. That sounds pretty good to me. Now, if you watch through this entire video, you'll have the knowledge to become a master at this skill and make the best decision moving forward. And to jump right in, Herblar is a members only artisan skill that allows players to make their own potions using various herbs and ingredients. These potions allow temporary skill boosts or other effects such as fire or venom protection, making them an incredibly crucial part of old school RuneScape. Herblar started out being originally called Herblaw in RuneScape Classic, and the first person to ever achieve 99 was in May or July of 2003, and his name was Hal Noon. Now that's pretty cool. The skills advanced so much since then, that when Old School RuneScape was released, a player named Gentle Falls got 99 on March 14th of 2013, only 20 days after the start of the servers. And just over a year later, the first person to ever get 200 million experience in Old School RuneScape was a player named Talk To. And to this day, there's almost 46,000 players who have gotten 99 Herblore in OSRS and 138 players who have 200 million experience. None of which happens to be an Iron Man account. But Iron Higer and two others already passed the 100 million experience mark, clarifying that it takes a long time to level this skill on an Iron Man. Now, if your plan is to train your Herblore for questing, the highest requirement you'll need is 70, which is a necessity for a quest called Song of the Elves that allows you to make divine potions once completed. These divine potions are a superior variant to standard potions, making them incredibly handy. And you'll need a whopping 97 herb lore to make the highest level of divine potion. But that's not the only thing a high herb lore level is required for. For those of you guys looking to dominate raids, one of old school RuneScape's most profitable and action packed content, you'll need level 90 to make the highest level potions in there to supply yourself and your team. You'll also need high herb lore for four important achievement diaries namely, 81 for the Falador elite diary 86 for the Kandarin elite diary 87 for the karamja elite diary and finally 90 herb lore for the varak elite diary and i'll let you in on a little secret all of these besides the quest requirement can be achieved by using a temporary boost which i'll let you know a little bit more in the tip section of this video in old school runescape there's three methods of training herb lore potion making tar making and herb cleaning. And as it currently stands, potion making is without a doubt the most efficient and preferred method of training. Potions are usually made up of three parts. The base, primary ingredient, and secondary ingredient. While vials of water act as the base for most basic potions, and clean herbs typically act as the primary ingredient, combining these two will result in an unfinished potion. And before we jump any further in this video, I want to toss one of you an herbal or kit containing the supplies to make 1000 prayer potions. Just like the video, leave your RuneScape name in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe so you can be notified when I upload my new videos. Now let's get back into the guide. There are multiple different secondary ingredients which are usually obtained by training other skills and collecting them in the form of drops. There's also some supplies that you can buy in herbal stores. Now gathering secondary ingredients and making unfinished potions is a very common money making method. And on the other hand, the most efficient way to gain experience is using base and secondary ingredients that you buy at the Grand Exchange. The best experience can be achieved just by making potions that you unlock by leveling up. But making the best potions your level allows in some cases can can get very expensive, so players often choose to make lower experience but notably cheaper potions instead. Here's how you calculate the GP per XP for potions. You add the cost of the base and secondary ingredient, and then deduct the price you can sell the finished potion for. The difference is then divided by the amount of XP you receive. One super important thing you can use to save money while training is the Amulet of Chemistry. The Amulet of Chemistry can be used to save coins in cases where one dose of potion is more expensive than one of the five charges in the amulet. The chance of receiving an extra dose is 1 out of 20, and after using all the charges of the amulet, it breaks. To make sure you don't make any potions without the necklace on, you can right click it and select to stop making more potions when it breaks so you don't waste any GP. If you don't mind the extra activity and aim to save as much GP as possible, it is well worth it on your way to 99 herb lore. In an hour's time frame, you should normally average around 2,500 standard potions, 2,300 serum 207, 2,100 super combat potions, and 1,200 anti-venom plus. One can also make barbarian potions after unlocking it at auto god blessed, but the intensity, cost, and XP rates aren't really worth it. A cheaper way of training herb lore is making tar. 
It's also less click intensive than making potions, and one can make approximately 78 inventories per hour by simply combining Swamp Tar and a given herb. If you decide to train Herb Lore using this method, it's advised to buy Swamp Tar Head as the GE buy limit is capped at 13,000, which will only last you for about 30 minutes. Another way you can train is Herb Cleaning. It's slow, but profitable in return. You can use an auto cleaning feature that was added last year, which will allow you to clean up to 3000 herbs per hour and be fairly AFK. Or you can choose the more click intensive manual cleaning, which will allow you to clean over 10,000 herbs per hour. This method ranges from 7,500 to 45,000 experience per hour with auto cleaning and 23,000 to 130,000 experience with manual cleaning. Getting 75 through 99 via cleaning torsos would take a total of 79 hours of manual cleaning and 263 hours of auto cleaning, resulting in about 55 million GP in profit. The thing about this method is you would need a lot of GP to afford the grimy herbs, so I can only recommend this method for those of you who don't want to lose GP and have a lower target level. For example, just grabbing 70 for quest completion. To unlock the ability to train Herblore, you have to complete the Druidic Ritual quest, granting 250 experience and putting you immediately at level 3. The quest requires 4 easily obtainable items and only takes a few minutes to complete. To make a potion, you need the mentioned base and secondary ingredient. Withdraw 14 of each into your inventory and use them together. You can use the X withdrawal option and set it to 14. Bank fillers for better placement and escape keybind to close the bank to make the process faster. Once you make your first potion, it results in a 3 dose potion. And a good idea would be to decant them into 4 dose potions. You can do this yourself by combining potions together, but players no longer have to do this manually and can use the service of 2 NPCs. One NPC that you can use is Zahor and he's located in Narda. The other is Bob Barter, and he's at the Grand Exchange. The prices you can get for full 4-dose potions are usually better than selling 3-dose potions right away. Now, if you're into doing quests, there's a few that are really good for early experience. One worth mentioning is Shades of Morton, as it unlocks the ability to create Serum 207s, which are a much cheaper alternative to Strength Potions. The quest requires 15 Herb Lore, which can be achieved by either making Attack Potions or completing quests such as Jungle Potion, Recruitment Drive, Zogar Flesh Eaters, or the Dig Site. If you decide to level up your herb lore manually, you can start by making attack potions by combining an unfinished Guam potion with an Eye of Newt until you reach level 12. This will take about 1-2 to two minutes and 57 attack potions in total. Then I suggest making strength potions using an unfinished Terramin potion on a limp root root until 26 herb lore. This should take just 3-4 or four minutes creating 144 of them. Or you can make 90 attack potions up until level 15 and complete the Shades of Morton quest putting you at level 19. After that you'll want to make 87 serum 207s by combining unfinished Terramin potions with ashes up until 26 herb lore which should take you about 2 minutes. Now. Taking the strength potions route is more expensive but significantly faster. Needing to only make 144 of them, you lose around 100k. But if you chose the serum route, the total costs are around 25k. Now that you've reached 26 herb lore, you've now unlocked energy potions. You can make them by using an unfinished Harlander potion with chocolate dust, yielding you 67.5 experience per potion. You'll need to make around 322 of them to get to our next milestone of 38 herb lore, and that'll take you around 7 to 8 minutes. Making these energy potions will cost you a total of 110,000 GP. Now that you're at level 38, you can make prayer potions by using an unfinished Renar potion with Snape Grass. The Renar base is quite pricey, but you can sell the finished potion back with one of the least amounts of loss of all the potions we'll go through today. This is also where the Amulet of Chemistry can come in handy and save you even more GP. The progress from now on depends entirely on the amount of GP you're willing to spend on this skill. I'm going to present you with three different ways. The cheapest route the reasonable route, and the fastest route. And I'm also going to provide you with the total GP cost, the amount of time it'll take, and the exact amount of XP you'll gain per hour doing each method. So you can make the absolute best decision on your herb lore journey. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, make sure to do it now, because this is about to get intense. The cheapest way, 38 to 39 using prayer potions only. Requiring a whopping 148,618 prayer potions, you could legitimately make this single type of potion all the way to 99. And it's not that bad either. While it takes around 60 hours from 38 to 99, you could expect to lose a total of 30 to 35 million GP. Unless you use an amulet of chemistry, 
which would then tack it down to 15 to 20 million GP. But with the Amulet of Chemistry, you can expect that it would take a few more hours to 99. In conclusion, doing prayer potions to any level of your desire is a fairly viable option. The reasonable route. Now with the reasonable route, this is the way I would recommend for most people, as it lies in between cheap but slow and fast but expensive. To start off, make prayer potions up to level 52. That'll require 1,066 prayer potions in total, costing you around 300k, or 160k if you use an Amulet of Chemistry, and it shouldn't take more than 30 minutes time. Now once you hit 52 Herb Lore, you unlock the ability to create Super Energy Potions, which are made by using an unfinished Avento Potion on Mortmire Fungus. And as a side note, picking the fungus is a very common money making method. Each Super Energy Potion that you make will grant you 117.5 XP, and you'll need to make 3172 of them to reach level 66. This process should take you around 1 hour and 15 minutes to complete and cost you around 2 million GP. Now once you've hit level 66, now comes the last potion you'll be making in this segment. And that is the Super Defense Potion. Yeah, I said that pretty epically. Because it's a very important potion that grants very good experience for a fairly expensive cost. Offering up to 375,000 XP per hour, it costs 6.7 GP per XP. I do recommend you check the XP per GP for Super Restores, Anti-Fire, and Raging Potions, as they are all unlocked around the same level and might be better priced. But currently the best choice is the Super Defense Pop. Some players choose to make Super Combat Potions once they hit level 90 for less XP per hour but smaller cost. Yet right now the price difference is insignificant and making those is also more click intensive. To reach level 99, you'll need to gain over 12.5 million experience. And you'll have to make 83,588 Super Defense Potions by combining unfinished Canadine Potions with White Berries. This will take roughly 34 hours and cost you around 84 million GP. The whole 1 to 99 taking this route will take you around 36 to 37 hours and cost 86 million GP. That's over 24 hours less than the cheapest route, while costing between 50 to 70 million GP more. If you've got the spare GP, this method sounds pretty good to me. The fastest route. When you get into gaining the fastest XP in old school runescape, things start to get a little crazy. Now there's a quickest way to achieve 99 herb lore, but I decided to compare two different ways of doing so. But in general, the fastest way would be to jump to higher yielding XP potions when they become available. We'll start by making prayer potions until level 45 when we unlock super attack potions. To get there, we'll have to make 356 prayer potions, costing us from 32 to 77k depending on if we use the Amulet of Chemistry. It'll usually take 8 to 10 minutes to gain these levels. At level 45, get yourself 1052 unfinished Irrit potions and the same amount of Unicorn Horn Dust. It'll cost around 500k GP to buy these, and it should take around 25 minutes to make them all into super attack potions. Creating all those potions will bring you to 55 Herblore, unlocking the next tier of potions we're going to create. Super Strength, which are made by combining an unfinished Quarm Potion and a Limp Root Root. You want to make them until level 66, and to get there you'll have to make 2,637 of them, which takes roughly 1 hour and it'll cost you around 1.7 to 1.8 million GP. Now that you've made those, you've now got 66 Herb Lore. And at level 66, the third of the Super Trio comes in, and that's the Super Defense Potion. As I mentioned before, you can make either an Anti-Fire, Ranging, or Magic Potion for better experience rates after leveling up up, but it won't save as much time. To make super defense potions, you'll need an unfinished canteen potion and white berries. The level we're aiming for now to upgrade to the next tier of potion is level 81. That's nearly 1.7 million XP away. To get there, we'll need to make 11,311 super defense potions. Making these will take around 4 hours and 30 minutes and cost around 11.2 to 11.3 million GP. Now at level 81, you unlock the ability to create one of the most used things in the game. The Sarah Domin Brew. The Sarah Brew offers the best XP rates out of all potions, or at least if you make them the usual way. We'll be making Sarah Brews all the way until we reach level 99 by putting unfinished Toad Flax potions and Crushed Nest together. Each brew grants us 180 experience, and to get the nearly 11 million experience required left until 99, we'll have to make a total of 60,232 Sarah Brews, which will take us about 24 hours and cost us from 131 to 135 million GP. This route from 1 to 99 is truly quick, taking only 30 to 31 hours and costing a total of 150 million GP. But what if I told you there's a both faster and cheaper way? 
Let's take a look at it. The one tick route. You may have heard of three tick fishing, hunter, mining, or two tick wood cutting and one tick cooking. But have you heard of one tick herb lore? Tick manipulation in old school RuneScape is about performing actions quick enough to interrupt animations, allowing you to perform the actions more frequently. And before we get into it, it's worth noting that this method is very click intensive and it requires accuracy, but it can make scaling much quicker. When it comes to herb lore, you can one tick potions allowing you to produce around 4,300 of them per hour. The action involved to one tick your potions is pretty simple. You just need to hold your spacebar or number one on your keyboard to go through the make all interface and then you just spam click the secondary ingredient and potions together. It might be hard at the beginning, but once you get a hang of it, you can get pretty efficient. But let me warn you, it's quite a lot of clicking. If this is something you'd like to venture into, you'll start at level 66 and aim for level 77 by making super defense potions the normal way. It'll take 6,528 super defense potions in around 2 hours and 40 minutes to complete costing around 6.5 million GP. Once you've reached 77 herb lore, this is when the tick manipulation comes in. There's four types of potions that allow one ticking. Stamina, extended anti-fire, anti-venom, and extended super anti-fire. One ticking those potions range from 460,000 to 730,000 experience per hour. The fastest way to reach higher experience rates is to upgrade the potion every time you unlock a new one. But since this is the ultimate herb lore guide, I'll compare the cost and time of using lower level potions to reach level 99 as well. To start making potions in one game tick and getting those massive XP rates, at level 77 you'll start with stamina potions. By using 4 doses of a super energy potion as a base and 4 or amylase crystals. You'll make them until you reach level 84 herb lore, and to do so, you'll need to create 14,469 of them. That means around 3 hours and 15 minutes of one taking, averaging over 460,000 experience per hour, and the cost of this will be around 7.7 .7 million GP. Once you have 84 herb lore, extended anti fires are officially unlocked, and right here is the place where you have three different ways that you can follow that go from becoming the most expensive to the least. You have the option to make them until level 87, 98, or just go plain out for 99. Let's look at the fastest but most expensive way first. You'll aim for level 87 requiring a bit over 1 million experience, which equals out to 9,281 extended anti-fire potions. Making those will take a little bit over 2 hours if one ticking and cost you around 7.4 million GP. You can make them by using 4 doses of anti-fire potion on 4 lava scale shards and the XP can reach over 500k per hour. Now the method is to do extended anti-fires until 87, where you unlock anti-venom potions. Anti-venom pots are the best XP at this level, but they're quite expensive in comparison with the extended anti-fires. And to get to the next tier of one tick potion, you'll need level 98 herb lore, which will require you to make 65,278 anti-venom potions taking around 14 hours and 30 minutes and costing 103 million GP. And to make the anti venom potion, you'll need to take four doses of antidote plus plus and put them together with 20 Zolra scales. Doing so will grant 120 XP per potion and using the one tick method, you can get close to 550,000 experience per hour. And now with all that completed, we now have 98 herb lore and have unlocked the extended super anti-fire potions. In order to make extended super anti-fire potions, you need to talk to Primula on the first floor of the Myths Guild. And to be able to make them, you also need to have Dragon Slayer 2 completed. With extended super anti-fire potions, getting 99 requires you to make 7,680 of them and it'll cost you a total of 13 million GP. You'll need 4 doses of super anti-fire potion and 4 lava scale shards to make just one. If efficient, you can gain up to 730,000 XP per hour and getting 99 would only take you 1 hour and 45 minutes. Now another alternative is to keep making extended anti-fire potions until level 98 cost you 46 million GP less than making anti-venoms. Then push the rest of the way to 99 by making extended super anti-fire potions like the previous route and the total cost would be 94 million and take 31 hours in total. The next alternative is to get 99 by making only extended anti-fire potions. The cost of doing this method from 84 to 99 herb lore would be 72.5 million GP. And in conclusion, it'll take 26 to 27 hours total plus 140 million GP total cost to one tick the extended anti-fire potion, anti-venom, 
and extended super anti-fire all in a row. Or instead you could spend 31 hours in total, spend 94 million GP in total cost by one taking the extended anti-fire into the extended super anti-fire. And lastly, you could spend 32 hours plus 89 million GP in total cost by just one taking the extended anti-fire potion all the way through. Now here we can see the four fastest methods all compared together. The Sarah Brew method is used by players who don't mind spending GP, and the one tick methods are more interesting than useful. Now let's take a look at the numbers we got for the three main ways of getting 99. The cheapest way? Making only prayer potions takes two times the amount of hours than the fastest way, but costs five to ten times less in total. On the other hand, the reasonable way offers 99 in just five to six more hours than the fastest way, and costs over 60 million GP less as well, making it a fairly quick and affordable option for most players. Now here's some helpful tips that'll really help you on your Herblore journey. To temporarily boost your Herblore level up to be able to create better potions that your level doesn't allow you to yet, the most reliable way is the Botanical Pie. The Pie boosts your Herblore level by 4 and also restores 7 HP per bite. But if you happen to need a 5 level boost, the way to go is a Spicy Stew. The only downside of using a Spicy Stew is it can boost any skill randomly or reduce it by 5, so this way can be quite time consuming. You can also boost your herblore level by using a Greenman Ale and its mature version. The normal version boosts you by plus 1, and the mature version boosts you by plus 2. And players who have mastered herblore and gotten 99 can also activate their herblore cape and get a plus 1 boost from that as well. It's very important to keep in mind that boosting your herblore level can save you GP by using the Botanical Pie, and it can help you make cheaper and higher XP potions earlier, but it means extra clicking and attention. Herblore is considered to be one of the hardest skills to train on an Iron Man. And that's mainly because it's so hard to get the materials you need to train it. So it's advised for Iron Men to use their lamps from Genie random events, quests, and diaries towards herb lore. And if you're interested in getting these herbs yourself, there's quite a few ways you can do it. Some good ways are to grow them yourself by farming, or get them as drops from various monsters such as men and women, chaos druids, aberrant specters, basilisks, flesh crawlers. You can also get herbs from sinister chests. And as a reward from Nightmare Zone, costing 9,500 reward points, you get an herb box. You can also get them from the Sorceress's Garden. And that just about wraps up everything you need to know to become a master at training Herblore. Thank you guys so much for reaching this far into the video, and I hope you enjoy the new channel. I'm going to be creating a guide on every single skill. I'm going to be doing a quest guide for every single quest. I'm going to be covering every update and so much more. I created this channel to have a place where it's 100% community oriented. So if that sounds like anything you'd like to see, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and let's make this the number one most subscribed channel for the community. Let's go! First guide down, head of many.